The Millennium Library will fully reopen on Monday, weeks after a fatal stabbing forced the doors shut. The city says it'll be adding new interim security measures, which include bringing back the controversial metal detector. CBC's Brittany Greenslade joins us live from the newsroom. Brittany, what else can people expect when they arrive on Monday? Well, Emily, the city says it will be bringing back that airport-style walk-through metal detector for all visitors entering the building, as well as metal detector wands. And visitors can expect to visually see a larger security presence. Two police officers and an additional four security guards are being hired. This is only for what the city says is going to be an interim period, while it waits on recommendations of a risk and security audit of the facility. Now, the city says ensuring there are no weapons being brought into the facility is critical to ensure the safety and well-being of staff and visitors. On top of that, teams with the Downtown Community Safety Partnership will do extra patrols around the library, including through the lobby and park, and will use the former gift shop space as a base. The library has been closed for more than a month after 28-year-old Tyree Kaye was stabbed to death on the main floor of the downtown facility. Limited services resumed last month, which allowed people to pick up and return items they reserved online. Today, we asked Winnipeggers how they feel about the new changes. I think it's a very good idea. Uh, downtown has deteriorated quite a bit, especially for us, uh, us older folks. I, I have mixed feeling about it. Okay. I, I think the police and all, they should be sparing their efforts towards other criminal situations, not just putting, uh, getting deployed here. That's my personal uh, observation. I do think it's going to make some people feel more safe, but others more uncomfortable. Uh, because the library is supposed to be a space open to anyone. So it can make people less likely to come. For me, it's a little bit too far. Uh, but if it's what people want to wants to use it and it's safer, yeah, it's a good thing. It seemed a bit galling at first. We have to go through airport type security screening to just go and read a book. But it's proved itself necessary, unfortunately. Now, this isn't the first time enhanced security measures have been tested at the library. A group called Millennium for All held a series of rallies calling the security measures regressive. That was back in 2019, when it was brought in to deal with increased violence and intoxication in the building. At the time, a city spokesperson said security incidents dropped by 43 percent. But a year after, the metal detector and bag checks were scrapped in response to that public outcry. Today, Joe Kerno, a member with Millennium for All, says this is a step backwards. What we're seeing today is that the city is backing out on all the progress that they've made over the last two years and doubling down on a failed policy that made no one safer. Now again, the city says this is just a temporary move to be able to get the library reopened as quickly as possible. As of now, the city has not released a timeline for when it expects the full risk and security audit to be finished. Emily? Thank you, Brittany. That's CBC's Brittany Greenslade.